What's up, everybody? It's Cashflow Next to the channel Faith Trading and Wealth. And today we are going to do some Ichimoku forecasting. This is, you know, going to be a good one. Guys, uh, <laughs> I just want to say, first of all, that I'm going to, you know, I'm going to take my time with this. You know, because I got quite a few things I'm going to be looking over. That'll be looking over the Mexican peso as we know. We're starting off with that. Then I'm gonna look at the Nasdaq, you know, the indices, then GDP, JPY. Also, so stay tuned for that. Uh, another thing I want to say: if you guys know, if you are new to this channel and you like what you see in here, if you feel about to sub, hit the subscribe button. This is a God-fearing channel. Uh, I did put out a message on a vision that I had. So I'll link that vision that I had in the comment section so y'all can watch that video. And, you know, subscribe to the channel because, you know, <laughs> I say some stuff that ooh, I'm very controversial, apparently, on different social media platforms. So uh, just, you know, stay tuned, keep watching. You know, you're gonna enjoy this channel, just saying. Um, but I do wanna jump right into the technical analysis. I got quite a few things to cover. So let's do that right now. So, started with the peso. This is actually my favorite pair. This is what got me, you know, really going and trading. And I, you guys don't know, I trade with Ichimoku style. So, I'll be teaching and also educating you on where I think the market's gonna go with my forecast as well. So, when you look at this chart on the daily time frame, we are underneath the cloud, which is bearish already. Has some downward momentum. And we had a, a pullback, you know, at least 50% pullback, almost on this area. So we got that, and now we are moving back down to the downside from what I see. What I like to see on the daily time frame for us to break this fractal level to go to make lower prices. But right now, we need to, like, if we do break here, this is what I like to see. And this is probably going to happen on the lower time frame. We'll see. So we'll get a break here, probably a retest, then come back down. Or we'll get a break here and then come back up. So it's it's right now we can't say, but right here, this is the area that I'm gonna really start paying attention to more. Uh for the ISO. Coming down to the four hour chart, we had a uh Y wave, no a P wave here. And it's the market's showing that we broke out of this, but are we clear to go to the downside? Looking at the four hour, there's no momentum just yet. We probably have to break this level, which is the daily uh, low that I was talking about. So we need to break this level for the uh, Kumo cloud to start angling to the downside, but I'm not seeing that right now. At least on the four hour time frame, I'm not. Coming down to the one hour chart, momentum is pretty strong here. We got a thick cloud. Uh, we had a breakout here, so possibly a retest. And if I zoom in a little bit closer, we had a bullish cross and a bearish cross. So we'll see how price fares. Right now, I'm bearish for this pair. I want to see how price is going to respond down to these levels. And if we could get a break here, I'm expecting the market to go even lower. So I would wait for the market to come back down to this level at least how it plays here and if we get a bounce here retest then drop then I'll, then I'll play with that as well but right now I'm leaning to the bearish side for this pair this is the peso uh, so that's my analysis on the peso next I want to look at the British pound Japanese yen also one of my favorite pairs to trade it's, it moves quite a bit so you can make quite a bit of pips on it throughout the week and you don't have to really you know, do too much as far as analysis on this pair. That's just my thoughts. Uh, right now, you know, we have some indecision going on right in here. Could argue that that's a shooting star, but let's let's zoom in. Yeah, you could say argue that this is a shooting star or dragonfly. I mean, not dragonfly. Shooting star or a. Uh, or a, a graystone. I want to say graystone because graystones are typically at the bottom, but this is more in favor of a downward uh, move, in my opinion. 
we had a downward drop correction. Now we have some indecision and a shooting uh, star right here. So right now I'm going to be looking for shorts, at least according to price action. I'm going to be looking for shorts. But in Ichimoku, it should be bullish, but price action is showing we have uh, you know, movement of bearish tendency. So let's jump down to the four hour. Four hour chart, we just broke outside the cloud. Chiku Span looks to be getting free. So this might actually change our tune. Uh, we might actually, if we could hold above this level here, we have a range here so far from what we see. If we could hold above this level, we could actually start being bullish for two reasons. We're above the cloud, we broke outside, Chiku Span is about to be free. We just need to be careful in this range here. That's the danger. So we need to see Kijun under K, but we need to see Kijun angle up, and we need to see an A and B both to the upside as well, which would mean we need to break this fractal level here. Right now, how I would trade this, I would trade it within the range until we get above this level or below this level. So the best way to trade this that uh, alerts at these levels here. So I'm going to sell my alert because I'm not missing this opportunity. So the sell chance goes to the downside and buy chance. We have a buy chance here upside and goes higher but right now it looks like this market's gonna range go ahead and... all right so we got that set so we're ready for this market um one more time frame yeah here yeah this market's definitely in the range chico span is inside price and price is just ranging between these levels i won't touch this until we break one of these levels and what I like to see for a break to the downside is break out here, retest, drop. So that's what I like to see for a downward move. But we'll see how this market plays. Uh, next pair that I want to eye and look at, let's go to famous US 30. Here in my group chat, you know we'd be catching some crazy moves on US 30. US 30, it shows bullish signs here, but we had a bearish cross here, then a bullish cross. We didn't even get a bullish cross here. We got a fake bullish cross right there. Then it continued down. This tickets and continued down. But right now, this market's in a range. Our secret span B and A is flat. So this market's flat right now, according to the daily four hour charts. You make this. Uh, yes, and pump on here. We gotta have to go to the one hour chart. What's really going on here? All right, yeah, here we go. So let me go ahead and all this. A fresh. I do this. I'm gonna take off the clouds for a moment. See if I can find any patterns. Gotta always mark the patterns if you spot them. Okay. So right here, I could I could play off. I'll, I'll go off first. Call this a the Y wave here. So what needs to happen if you're not familiar with each local wave theory? This is a Y wave pattern. Um, I think there's another term for it. They call it the expanding triangle or some expanding triangle, something like that. So right here, this is where I'm going to find my move. Uh, according to probably the five minute or the fifteen minute, because the hour is yeah here yeah. There's no move here. It's even flat on the hour time frame. For the key June prices holiday because it's cheaper than year. So, what I want to see, I want to see how the five minute and the 15 minute charts are looking for a trade opportunity. This could be a major you know, spike to the upside, 
or a major decline to the downside depending on how we break this Y wave. And usually a Y wave is a continuation pattern, but you know, you can't always go based off that. You have to go by based off what you see in the market and how the market's moving. So right here, let me go ahead and right here this is the zone that we are in i might make this visible on the five minutes or two but we have a bullish cross so let me see. right there that's fine so right here we have a bullish tk cross we broke key June. so right now i'm really paying attention to this the upside for the uh 15 minute chart depending on what goes on here i might trade it i don't know yet uh, i really I'd rather, I'd rather feel safer if we could get above this level here. That's my, my opinion. Honestly, even maybe a little, maybe even right here. That's how I, if we're going to go higher, I want to see price break this to go higher. And, you know, if we're going to go lower, now it looks like this is a break retest, so we'll see how this market plays off. Let's go to the five minutes. Five minutes. Five minute chart is showing us that we are trying to go to the upside. This broke this cloud right here. Eugenson's angled up. Secret spent A's angled up. B is flat, but we need some notice to angle to the upside. So right now, I'm going to be neutral. According to this, there's no real trade just yet. No signal just yet. Oh my God. So right now, this move, this could be the direction that we potentially head in right now, just because of free. I'm going to lean for right here, and depending on how you play in this area, so anyway. So let's go with this move right here for now. I'm actually gonna go with this move. And when we get this move, I wanna see how price is gonna hold here. If it break above this level, then I'll take it upside. If it doesn't, then oh, more reason to take the trade to the downside. For now, that's the move that I see. I might even play it off the 15 minutes. So I, I think it'll be safer off the 15 minute time frame, just by. Make sure this is So that's my analysis for US 30 coming to SX or SP 500. Uh, looking at SP 500, SP 500, same thing practically as the uh, uh, US 30. Um, here we had a wide wave. I actually you know, spotted this in the group chat. On my, in my Discord group, I said we're in a Y wave, so prepare for this move to be you know, broken downside or down upside. And you see, we rally to the upside. So now, what I'm going to do to highlight this area, and I'm going to play this move off the one hour or the four hour chart. But let me show you guys what's going on on the one hour chart. It looks like it wants to start, you know, getting weak. Depending on, we may get a, a more bounce here and break the upside. Very possible. But if we look here, if I take these off, we zoom in a little bit closer. He joins angle down. We have a bearish TK cross. And we're starting to, you know, this cloud is still weak and price is coming down. So this is what I see so far. We're holding that trend line right there. So oh, we get a break at this trend line to the upside, then I'll play like that. Or we get a bounce here, then I'll play like that. Downside. So right now I'm leaning towards the downside. We're at the top of the Y wave, so this is you know, looking good for itself. Uh, let's see what 15 minutes is showing that we are in a TK zone right here. So that's kind of scary. So we could bounce to the upside right here. We also got some distance here with the clouds, so that's what I'm 
another thing that I'm looking at. Uh, let's see. For us to go lower, we need to break this lower level fractal here. See how price remains, you know, to just get it up. I'm sorry. We could get some, uh, if we're playing this right now, according to this area, we had a break here at our um, key gym, right? So we have a here's a uh, dark cloud cover right here. We press that spike up and push back down. But you see, we if we're playing this with the moving averages, we had a break right here. So that's a, a good. Uh, if we could hold underneath this, we'd probably see lower prices right now. Be the bearish close for this next candle. Uh, like I said, you could play this as a moving average, a break, and a average here, or a key drum, a move to play. I would wait for this candle because we could easily get a bullish candle to the upside, so that's something I would wait for here on the fifth part. Back on. Yeah, so that's what I see here. And finish this video off. Let's go with NASDAQ. as a home. So NAS has been wild, it has been moving very strongly to the upside as you can see. We're going to take local off real quick. So this is our move right here so far. If we get a break at this line here, you know, break, I would wait and see how it performs here. What I'm going to do is make this visible on the 4 hour so So, you know, playing this, I like to see that break here and see how price is going to respond. We hold here and get a bounce and definitely good trade price action. But right now, it's, I wouldn't even trade it after daily. Um, let's see if you four hour. Four hour, yeah, we're still, you know, moving very strong to us. Like we're in the channel on the four hour chart. Go ahead, come on. This is the market we move currently on the channel. So right now we're in the middle of the channel. What we need to see, probably a test up here. So many signs that it may want to pull back according to how far the key from the price might you know, flat and we have a sequence here. We actually might see price start to pull back according to the four hour chart. One hour chart is showing a little bit of weakness, but it's a it's a thick cloud, so I will I'll be careful in this area. I'll probably look for a bounce of this cloud because it's very thick. The one so I'm going to play this accordingly. This is how I'm looking at this trade. Right here on the one hour. Go ahead and here we go right here. I'm going to zone this area. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. This area. Play accordingly. So, where we're currently at, I want to see price break the zone, like retesting, you know, bust down to the downside. Uh, right now, it's ranging, so I'm not going to touch this just yet. I'm just going to hold off on this market. Uh, it's not a move just yet, but we'll probably get a move by. Probably by Monday, Tuesday, we'll probably start seeing some movement. Uh, right now it's 50-50 in my, in my opinion. But we may get a pullback according to that four hour chart. Yeah, I really take that into uh, Let me go back to the four hour chart. Let me mark that. Might get a pullback down to the um, down here. So we'll see. How that goes, so back to the. No. 
So yeah, this is where we could potentially go according to the four hour time frame and now put us in new trade it accordingly. Right now I'm just gonna be patient, I'm gonna wait. We're gonna trade this on these big cards. Uh look. Yeah, this is how I would trade it. I'm gonna make sure we get a break at this level. Retest that continuation. And we do get that move. Right here. We do get that move down to like this blue zone here. We're looking at 2,316 pips. That's a good move for. All right, you guys, I hope you guys are blessed and encouraged. I hope you guys have the best trading week. Comment, subscribe, and let me know your thoughts on what you think about this video. Share this video, like it. I don't care what you do, honestly. I just make this video just because I like, you know, doing this type of stuff. So, once again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment, subscribe, let me know. And